I need to make a cake. Cake flour. Plant B. Oh, I do have cake mix, so this is gonna have to do. So. Well, I don't want to do something so simple, so I think I'm gonna make this a little more special. See, I know my dad loves sour things, so I think I'm gonna make this a lemon cake. I need lemons. Should be enough. Okay, so what I'm gonna start off doing preheat the oven. I'm actually gonna start with the wet ingredients first. So this calls for a third of a cup of water, but since I'm adding lemon, I'm gonna do my lemon first. Do a nice big lemon. This helps make it, uh, release the juice a little bit easier. So, squeeze in my lemon. I'm also going to use the zest. It'll add more flavor. I'll go ahead and put that in the bowl. And now I'm going to add the water on top of that, just so the liquid's amount is the same. Yep. So, three quarters of a cup. Okay. Then it calls for a third of oil. Always check it eye level to make sure you got the accurate measurement. So, yep, that's good. Now I know this cake mix tends to be a little dense, so I'm gonna add some egg replacer because that'll make it a little more fluffy. directions. I'm going to add about two eggs. I'll get that all mixed up. I'm going to add my cake mix. Don't do that. Mix that until it's just combined. important spray your pans.
one. I'm actually not going to drop the pan because, although that tends to help spread it around, because I put the egg replacer in here and it needs that air, I'm not going to drop it to make sure the bubbles stay. Put that in the oven. Okay, so for this it says about 25 minutes, so 25. Okay, I'll check it out in 25 minutes. Okay, let's see if this is done. Okay, so I'm gonna test it. It looks like it pulled away from the pan, so that's a good thing. Yep, came out clean, so we're done. Okay, so now let it cool, so when you turn it out, it doesn't fall apart. It's also easier to ice and decorate once it's cool because otherwise your frosting is just going to melt. So before I turn out my cake, I'm going to get my icing starting. Um, it's a good idea to let your butter or margarine uh, sit down on the counter until it's a little bit soft. This is still kind of hard, but I'm kind of in a rush, so... <coughs> Don't be in a rush. Also, I have a wire um, attachment for my mixer. That's going to be a lot better than the paddle. When you're doing batters, use the paddle. Icing, use the whisk. So, two sticks of butter. for icing a ratio of one stick of butter to two cups of powdered sugar looks good for regular frosting um, add a cup of powdered sugar if you're doing any um, piping work so the extra decoration stuff Once I get all my powdered sugar in, I'm going to add some vanilla. Add a teaspoon. Since I'm doing a lemon cake, I'm going to add some lemon juice to my frosting, kind of make it a little more lemony. Right now, it's a little too crumbly, so I'm going to add a little bit more, um, I'm going to add some water to it. It's not an exact amount, so just very slowly until it starts looking creamy. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so my cake is cold, so I'm going to turn it out onto my plate. It's my camera stopped. So what um, I did was I cut the cake in half. I used the edge of the plate since it has a nice divot in it to keep my knife flat. Um, spun the plate around, cut uh, the cake in half. It is kind of a thin plate. Transferred that onto another plate. Put a ring of frosting around my cake. This helps keep the jam in the center and from spilling out the edge. And then I put my jam on and this is just regular jam. Um, 
So now I'm going to very carefully try and put the layer back on. A little off center. Just carefully scoops that over. I'm just going to put as much frosting on the top here. And slowly push it off to the sides. If you get down to where the cake layer is, then you start pulling up crumbs. This is one way that you keep from getting crumbs. Just pile it all on top and very slowly work it to your edges. See it's starting to fall off the edge and that's kind of what I want it to do. Smooth out the top a bit. Try and start getting this on my edges. So I'm going to kind of leave it a little bit rustic because we're going to put a lot of birthday candles on it. Um, might put a strawberry, kind of nicely flare it up on top since it's a strawberry lemon cake. <laughs> 